I am so happy that you found your way here and if this is your first time visiting my channel then welcome to the family. Today I'm making a video where I'm showing you what I eat in a day. So this would be a typical day of me eating just breakfast, lunch and dinner and it's all plant-based. So I know that when you start out your plant-based journey some people find that it's difficult to cook food that they feel that they get full from or that is filling or satisfying. Uh, a preconceived notion is that plant-based food or vegan food is cold, raw, just full of salad and you just don't get full of it uh, or full from it. But that is far from right. Um, basically there are so many options that are really filling and you feel satisfied after a meal i never go hungry and uh, yeah i thought that i should share some of my tips with you or just a regular day and that might inspire you to make your own recipes or do some our own foods that you like so let's uh go right into the video so for my breakfast i have oatmeal porridge this is the most important meal of the day so I start out very well one part water one part oatmeal and one part almond milk which I love and I just let that boil and I put an extra bit of almond milk because I love it um, I have uh, been to the gym the first thing in the morning so I'm quite hungry and make sure I have a sturdy breakfast I sprinkle a little salt and a little um, cinnamon just to sweeten it up and then I'll eat it and it's so yum. Since I've been to the gym I really need to restore my energy so I can be productive during the day. I sprinkle on some apples on top just to sweeten everything and the oatmeal gives me fiber which is good for my stomach. Since I love toast, I have some toast on the side and a cup of green tea and that really keeps me full until it's time for lunch. So after breakfast, I'm... Um, doing my chores and everything like that and after two hours I feel like mm, I need something I need something to snack on and that's usually when I'll have a fruit or something so this snack is really simple just some watermelon when it's not season for this I'll just have another type of fruit such as a pear or an apple really simple but it keeps me full Yum, it's time for lunch and I've already prepped my veggies which are tomato, onion, carrots, fresh ginger finely chopped, garlic finely chopped and fresh coriander. But you can skip the coriander if you do not like it. So here I'm just frying up my onions and tomatoes and uh, I'm just going to fry it up a little bit, put in my ginger some tomato paste two tablespoons approximately i am not really following recipes but i'm doing what i like but i'm going to write everything in the description box more thoroughly for you guys who want to try this recipe but this is basically going to be a stew with um, chickpeas and some veggies To start my sauce, I'm putting in a deciliter of water and then a teaspoon of Muchuzi mix Royco. This is something that all Africans will know. It's basically a food seasoning powder uh, made mostly out of cornstarch. Here I'm adding some coconut milk. I will put in the description box how much I did it because I don't know. I'm tasting and then I'm adding more uh, depending on what type of flavor I want. And yeah, I'm just mixing that together adding more water you'll just have to get the feel of how much water or how water you want the food to be and i also put a half of a cube of uh, uh, vegetable stock and here i'm putting in some chickpeas that are already pre-boiled and into the end i'm adding some carrots because i want my veggies to be um, crunchy and not too soft and i'm just letting it simmer for like five minutes and then i'm adding some frozen cauliflower 
just to the very end because I don't want them to become mushy. In the very end, I'm gonna stir in my fresh coriander. This is a step that you can skip or you can use parsley if you like that. Now it's done and guys when I'm telling you this is delicious, it is delicious. Oh my god, you have to try this recipe and it's so easy to pop into the freezer, into the fridge and make like a big batch and you will eat for the rest of the week girl and it's just so yum and it's filling and it's thick and it's mm, just amazing. You can use lentils instead, beans instead, just amazing. Guys, can you tell that I'm enjoying this food? Because I'm enjoying this food. And this is also going to be my dinner. So yes, lunch and dinner in one, honey. It's done. So an hour or two before bed, I'll have an evening snack and I'll have some green tea because it has less caffeine and I'll have some apple slices with peanut butter. Apple slices and peanut butter is such an amazing snack, so yummy and so easy and quick to make, a perfect ending to my day. I'll have it when I answer some emails, watch YouTube videos, or maybe reading a good book. So guys, this is what I eat in a day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and some snacks. I hope you really enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Please drop a comment of what you think and what your favorite meals were. If you liked the video, don't forget to click the thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye guys! Welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you found your way here. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this tube top and matching choker out of a simple H&M t-shirt. 